This is a place where superheroes come to rest, reflect, recharge. Some are healing broken wings. Some are massaging hurting pain. And others are acquiring new superpowers. I can see you all acquiring new superpowers. And some are retiring the old ones that you don't need anymore. And some are forming new alliances to take on new toxic alliances that are forming out there as we heal over here. Today, we reflect, we learn, and celebrate. We celebrate that despite the many obstacles and threats to our activism, still we rise. We innovate and we push back and continue rising. I love the idea of a healing space that is comprehensive and denotes well-being, wholeness, that combines and does not separate and does not see as separate the issues around our physical, mental, spiritual well-being. Et dans mon pays, en Côte d'Ivoire, j'ai été la première à me lever pour me battre contre les, toutes ces injustices-là. Et tout le monde de ma communauté venait m'expliquer tel problème, tel problème. Je les écoutais. Mais après, moi, je n'avais personne pour m'écouter. Et tout ça, je gardais. Et puis, je me disais que, bon, ben, écoute, faut que tu continues. Je savais que j'étais fatiguée, mais je me disais qu'il faut que je continue. I'm here to give my shoulders. I'm also here because I'm tired of fighting and trying to reclaim in spaces that are violent. I'm tired of being violent. I'm tired of conflating issues and not focusing on what we need to do for transformation in our societies. And this feminist republic offers us a place to recalibrate ourselves, reset the button, wherever our journey is. The idea of healing justice is on many, many levels, but ultimately it's about resolution. It's about coming through. It's about these experiences that we've had individually, collectively, in our societies, regionally, generationally, really reaching their conclusion. And at the core of healing justice is an understanding that you cannot solve a problem with the thinking that created it.
What I'm seeing is far above my expectation. Yesterday was amazing for me. Honestly, it was like that section was organized specially for me because I, I, I kept listening and it was every talk that was coming was directed at me. I have had four days of personal care, self-reflection, and also of collective support. Having a session on storytelling as a healing methodology. I'm a storyteller and I love storytelling, but to see it as a tool for healing was very exciting. I really want to thank the funders that they are so disability sensitive. I came and by the airport I saw this brand new wheelchair. For me that was a bold statement from uh, Urgent Action from uh, Africa. Wonderful bold statement. It's going to last on my mind for a very long time. What I think is very powerful is when you get women in a space and they're able to share their stories as openly as possible in a space that supports them to be able to do that because we don't often have that permission especially as African women so for me what I love to see is the stories of women coming forward and the space taking care of them and giving them the permission to do that we got the buy-in of uh, so many uh, movements, activists, women in all the diversity that we have on the continent that uh, uh, I can see that it will work because this is a platform for African women human rights defenders and the African women human rights defenders, the 315 of them who were here, uh, have uh, agreed that this is the platform they want and we haven't had big clashes, ideological, political, whatever clash that we usually have in this kind of space. It was very smooth, very nurturing, sometimes very sad, but uh, we are not living on a sad note.